runs batted in with 81. A look towards second and the 3-1 pitch. Rodriguez, it's a high fly ball, pretty deep left center. Back goes Curran, over by the track, looking up at the wall, and it's gone! John Rodriguez with a two-run opposite field homer off the bottom of the scoreboard in left center field. And the Wingets take a 3-1 lead in the bottom half of the third inning. On three balls in one strike, Rodriguez got a fastball over the out. Had a strikeout. Runners lead first and second. Not going. 3-2 pitch. Ground ball over the middle. Tough play. It's through to center field for a base hit. Corey around third will score. To Hallelio heading for third base. It's an RBI single to center field for John Rodriguez. And the Wingnuts now lead 4-1. On 3-2, and two, Benningson came with a break. Last two years. And this year they have the year off from Amarillo. The pitch and a high fly ball down the right field line. Going over Sabatella. Over by the corner. Back of the fence. Leaping. And it's gone. John Rodriguez with an absolute moonshot down the right field line. A skyscraper fly ball over the upper fence, and the Wingnuts cut the lead of seven to five. Rodriguez homers for a second straight night. It's a wide open stance from the left side of the plate. Adelman off the stretch, the first pitch. Fastball driven in the air towards deep right. Going over Sabatella, reaches, dive, can't get it, and it bounces over the fence for a ground rule double. Corey will score, but Kahala Leo will have to go back to third base. A huge break for the Jackals, but John Rodriguez comes through. He tees up on a first pitch fastball from Tim Edelman. He hits a ground rule. The set from the right-hander Flores in his first inning. The pitch, swinging a drive towards deep left center field. Back goes Valencia, over by the truck, looking up at the wall, and it's gone! John Rodriguez with a two-run homer to left center field. A two-out, two-run shot that gives Wichita a 13-2 lead in the bottom half of the fifth. Rodriguez homers for a third consecutive ball game, and he is now at safely in seven games in a row. A four-run bottom of the fifth for the Wichita Wingnuts. Facing Ben Moore in that Friday game, Saturday will be John Link against righty Jordan Woodcock. The 2-0 pitch, high fly ball, deep center field. Back goes Martin, over by the track, looking up at the wall, and it's gone! John Rodriguez with a solo home run to left center field. His fourth home run of the last five games. A missile just to the left of the batter's eye. The Wingnuts now lead 3-0. Come set, Rodriguez a left hand batter, two for four. And the first pitch, and a high fly ball, left center field. David Peralta, a good arm is under it. McDonald, great speed. Peralta makes the catch, McDonald tags. Here comes a throw to the plate. McDonald slides, he's safe for the wing nuts, win it. John Rodriguez lifts a sacrifice fly to left field as Jared McDonald beats the throw to the plate from David Peralta, and the wing nuts yank it out by a final score of seven to six here in the bottom half of the ninth inning. A wild finish after a wild night of baseball. Brainy set at the bell, Kahalaleo leads. The pitch, swinging a line drive down the left field line, slicing towards the corner that drops in fair for an extra base hit and bounces all the way to the wall. Kahalaleo into third base, he's gonna be waved around. Gonzalez won't make a relay, Kahalaleo scores and the Wingnuts have a one to nothing lead. John Rodriguez with an opposite field double down the left. This is righty David Casillas. The 1-1 from Ferrani. High fly ball, deep left center field. Back goes Muse over by the track. Back at the wall, leaping, and it's off his glove and down on the warning track. Cahalaleo around third, he'll score. And Rodriguez stands on second with an RBI double. John Rodriguez with his second RBI double of the back of weather. Still 96 degrees, but especially two. Swinging a high fly ball, deep right center field. Back goes Tripp along with his brother Tripp, and this ball is off the top of the fence, or is it off the light pole? And it is gone for a two-run homer.
Steve Linton makes the call. The first base umpire, John Rodriguez, with a two-run homer off the light pole in right center, and it clanks back onto the field of play. And the Wingnuts take a 3-2 lead here in the bottom half of the third inning. On lead from second. Anderson ready. 3-2 pitch. Ground ball the other way. Base it through to left field. Kevin Hooper waving Ryan Corey to the plate. Here's a throw by Cabrera. It's not going to be in time. Corey scores the tying run. Rodriguez heading for second as the ball gets away from Ron Macher. And he'll get to second base without a throw. John Rodriguez ties the game up with an RBI single and a ground ball to left. It'll be to tune into the Wingnuts Facebook page and website to see what the deal of the day is. Rodriguez, it's a high fly ball to deep center field. Back goes Martinez looking up at the wall, and this ball is gone! John Rodriguez with a solo home run off the batter's eye in straightaway center field. For John Rodriguez, his sixth home run of the year. Is second against Will Crowd over the last two seasons, and it gives the Wingnuts a 3-0 lead here in the bottom half of the third inning. Position. Corey on second, Kahalaleo on first. And a 2-2 pitch. Line drive the other way, face it down the left field line. Ryan Corey around third, he'll score. Jake Kahalaleo's going to be waved to the plate by Kevin Hooper as the ball rolls around the track. Kahalaleo will score, and Rodriguez stands on second with a two-run double. It's now 5-2, Wingnuts in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Great piece of hitting by John Rodriguez, reached over the plate and lined up. A look towards second from Ronick. And the 2-2. Ground ball towards the middle, face it through to center field. Jake Halaleo is going to be waved to the plate. Martinez will not make a throw from center. It's an RBI single up the middle for John Rodriguez, and the Wingnuts extend their lead of 4-0 in the bottom half of the fifth. Great at Another 2-2 pitch, breaking ball lifted in the air towards left center, going back in the ball, Carroll still going back, won't get it. That'll bounce over the fence for an RBI ground rule double, and it's 15-0 in the bottom of the fourth. John Rodriguez in a hanging breaking ball, able to muscle that into the win, a carry beyond the reach of Sawyer Carroll. Beat Noga last Thursday night in Sioux City. They will miss him this weekend. The pitch, swinging a ground ball up the middle, that's through to center field for a base hit. Ryan Corey scores. Jake Cahalaleo right behind him. It's a two-run single to center field for John Rodriguez. And Witch Doc extends the lead to 7-1. Rodriguez going with the pitch. A hard grab. The 1-0 from Johnson. Swinging a ground ball the other way. That's a base hit through to right field. Kevin Hooper's going to send John Rodriguez to the plate. Here's a throw by Valencia. Rodriguez coming in. Slides around Grossman with a wing that's second run. And it's 2-0 here in the bottom half of the first. Brent Cleveland takes second base. Aggressive base coaching paying off for Kevin Hooper. Here's the pitch. Rodriguez swings, lines one through the shift, a base hit to right field. Cajalaleo heading for the plate. Here comes a throw by Valencia, and Cajalaleo slides and safe. Rodriguez heading for second, and he dives into second base. Now he's on his way to third as the ball rolls into center, and Rodriguez gets to third base standing up. John Rodriguez with an RBI single to right field, and he takes two bases on close. Infield is shifted on the right side. Here's the 0-1, high fly ball, deep left center field, going back as weak, over by the truck, looking up at the wall, and it's gone! John Rodriguez put the wing nuts back in front with a two-run homer to left center field just beneath the scoreboard for Rodriguez, his eighth home run of the year. And it's now 3-2 wing nuts here in the bottom half of the third inning. So Wichita capitalizes on the two-out air. Both of those seen this year against John Rodriguez, a left-hand batter. The 1-0 pitch, high fly ball in the air to left field, pretty deep. Back goes weak, back to the track, back at the wall, and it's gone! John Rodriguez with the 1500th base hit of his professional career, and it's a three-run homer to left center field. For Rodriguez, his ninth home run of the season, and the wing that's now leads six to one on the bottom half of the second. On one ball and no strikes, Rodriguez.
A look at second base in the 0-2 to Rodriguez. Swinging a ground ball towards the hole. Pest Molina, a base hit through to right field. Corey around third base. The throw by Rivera goes to third. Corey scores. Cajalilio slides in safe at third base. And the Wingnuts tie the game at 1-1 one and one here in the bottom half of the first inning. Up in Kansas City. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Swinging a line shot towards left center. Over the reach of a leaping good one. A base hit to left field. The ball gets by the center fielder, Jones, and Cajalilio's going to be waved to the plate. Cajalilio will score the Wingnuts lead 7-3. An RBI single to left center for John Rodriguez. And the Wingnuts are back in front by four runs. Rodriguez with a second RBI hit of the night. It's going to score a run. Irvin comes set of the belt, third base side of the rubber. The 3-1 pitch. Line shot down the left field line. That drops in fair for a base hit, and the Wingnuts will take the lead. It banks off the field pass. Cajalilio will score. Rodriguez hits for second, and it's 1-0. Wichita on the bottom half of the first inning. Great approach by John Rodriguez, the lefty. Booyer comes set, and the one-two pitch, swinging a ground ball towards the middle, past the reach of Espinosa, base hit to right center field. Cajalilio on his way to third. Hooper's gonna wave him to the plate. Coles with a throw, here's the relay by Espinosa, and Cajalilio slides in safe for the tying run. Incredible speed and hustle by Jay Cajalilio. A ground ball base hit to right center field that never got to the warning track. Kevin Hooper saw how deep. Zachi from a high set. And the first pitch to Rodriguez. High fly ball, deep center field. Back goes Coles onto the track. Back at the wall, and it's gone! John Rodriguez with a two-run homer off the speaker tower in straightaway center field. A mammoth shot that gets the wing that's on the board at 5-2 here on the bottom half of the eighth inning. Batter for Connor Spink. The 1-1 pitch. Swinging a high fly ball towards right field. Going back as Gaston over by the track. He's at the wall, and it's gone! John Rodriguez with a second home run of the night. A three-run shot to right center off the left-hander, Connor Spink. And it's a one-run ball game now, six to five in the bottom of the ninth inning. World Series in 2006. Another 0-2 pitch, swinging a ground ball up the middle, up Breezy's glove, it rolls to second. Squires got a throw to first, and it goes away from Gack in a foul ground. McDonald will score, and the Wingnuts are on the board at 4-1. to one. An infield RBI single for John. And said he looks over at second. And the 1-0 to Rodriguez. Swinging a ground ball towards the hole through the shift, a base hit to right field. Cajalilio's going to be waved to the plate. Here's a throw by Valencia. Won't be in time as Cajalilio slides in, and the Wingnuts have a 1-0 lead. First run of the game, you cannot party a locker room. John Rodriguez on one ball and no stream. Left-hand batter with a wide-open stance. The 0-1 pitch, swinging a little looper out toward short, tough play. That's over the head of Penn Braves, a base hit, and the Wingnuts will take the lead. Cajalilio around third will score. The Wingnuts have a 1-0 advantage here in the bottom half of the first inning. And with that one run, you can now party at Pat's locker room. Good piece of fitting by John Rodriguez. Feel deep and over towards the left. Rodriguez goes. The pitch is taken for a strike. Flores will throw to second. Not in time. Cajalilio coming home, and Cajalilio slides in safe for the second run. A double steal pulled off by the Wichita wing. That's Rodriguez got a great jump off first. Flores decided to throw down to second. And as soon as he let go of the ball, Jake broke for the plate. A double. Number two at first. Here's the 1-1. Swinging a ground ball to the right side. A run will score. Pineda fields to his right. The thought of first. It's not going to be in time. Rodriguez beats it out. And it's 1-1 here on the bottom half of the first inning. For a second straight night, John Rodriguez beats out a ground ball to the right side of second. Great hustle by the veteran DH. Well execution on both parties. He threw a good pitch, and J-Rod got the ball on it. Season in 2009, 
Here's the 1-0, swinging a line drive down the right field line. That ball will drop in for a base hit. Cajalilio scores as the ball rolls into the corner. Rodriguez on his way to second. Rodriguez round second. He's going to try for three. The relay by Perez won't be in time. The wing that's lead 5-3 in the bottom half of the eighth inning. John Rodriguez pulls a triple down the right field line. And the wing that's get a big insurance run. They're back up by two with C.J. Ziegler. Black shirt of the windup. And the 1-2 pitch, swinging a line drive over the reach of Rodriguez, a base hit down the right field line. John Rodriguez on his way to second base. Rodriguez makes the turn at second. He's going to try for three. Pineda, no shot in a relay. And Rodriguez stands on third with a wing nut, second triple of the night. 